What does the future of the Pittsburgh Steelers look like? I spoke with analysts from the NFL Network and ESPN to get their opinions on what the offseason could look like. I mean, with six picks, I think you're looking at the team. I think they need to continue to address the offensive line. I think they need to make sure they add another receiver. And then obviously, if they have an opportunity to solidify the quarterback position, that has to be on the priority list. Oh, I, I think there's no question. It has to be the offensive line. They started that reconstruction a year ago when they had four new starters. And uh, to me, that's something they need to continue to do. And then a corner. The biggest area of focus is continuing to build the offensive line. O-line for sure. I think there are a lot of wide receivers in this class that could be really special as a Steeler. This year on the offensive side of the ball, however they go with the quarterback position, uh, the offensive line is a strong group. I still think that that's probably the biggest position to need outside of the quarterback position. I think quarterback has to be a big one. And then I think you do look at the offensive line, you know, filling in some holes there. I, I think quarterback, offensive line, and corner are definitely big areas. Well, the Steelers have always been a good job kind of targeting guys and not just going crazy in free agency signing. So I think they'll stick to that plan of, okay, here are guys that fit at a good price. Uh, Pittsburgh is, is a little bit old school, right? They're, they're not big spenders in free agency. So I think that you, and what I would do is stay with that model. It's about finding the right fit. I don't think you're going to spend uh, significant sums to try and bring guys over. You want to fill in some pieces, but I think when you're Pittsburgh, you've always built through the draft. I think you continue to use the draft and develop model. If I'm approaching free agency, I want to be aggressive. When you look at what New England was able to do last year to make themselves competitive, they found pieces that fit. And I think that's what the Pittsburgh Steelers have to do.